long time My daddy tell me hold it down while I'm gone son. But what he gone done? So many choices it's not my fault Guys it's Fritz here and um I've been getting complaints that my intro cuts off so what's going on guys Fritz here and I got another really cool tutorial and um basically it is a really really cool uh effect for when you're shooting so I got some requests to do this and basically it is just some really awesome twitch and stuff so you saw the preview just about 10 seconds ago now we're gonna go make it because we're boss editors so I've got a new comp open already um, I can delete this clip because we don't need it. And I'm gonna bring this clip on, just like that. And I'm gonna find a specific frame that's very important. So right, um, here, you can see that there's a muzzle flash, and it's out the front. So this is an important frame because we need to go back one frame to the frame before the muzzle flash. So there's muzzle flash. Now don't freak out. Just click on this button here. And go to one frame above, and on your keyboard, you're going to hit the number pad star, or if you hit shift 8, it works too. And, um, or you can just hit the number pad thing or whatever, and that makes one too. And, um, basically, what it is is a marker, and that way it'll stay on our clip so we know what we're doing. What we're doing. So, we're going to zoom in. You can see there it is. So, we're going to go to our effects and presets tab and look up for Twix store, and we're going to put this right on our main clip and twixter and drag her on and see it looks all distorted and blurry because we missed a step we need to hit input frame rate and 0 0.99 whatever 59.94 we didn't actually miss that step i was just saying we did that's the frame rate of our clip see anything else it gets all goofy looking and we don't want it to be all goofy looking so we need to keep it 59.94 motion sensitivity right down here just click on the arrow and bring it to 100 easy as that so now, we are at our marker frame, so right here, frame 43 for me, or whatever it is for you guys, keyframe the speed, so, just like that, you've got this feed, or whatever, keyframed, and now you're going to go over one frame by clicking right here to our muzzle flash, and you're going to change this one to 150, so it goes from 100 speed to 150, and now we're going to go frame by frame until the score pops up and it's at its highest point. So you can see right here it kind of looks a little deformed, but trust me, you guys are not going to notice it at all once this is done with and we got our motion blur and our color correction. So right there, it's at its biggest because there it's big, there it's small. So right here is what we're going to work with. And we are going to hit U on our keyboard, making sure we have this layer selected. And click on this diamond right here to make another keyframe. Go over one frame, exactly, no more than one, and change your speed to three. And if we zoom in on our thing, you can see we've got our two keyframes that we just made. Right click on this last one that we did where it goes down to three. Keyframe assistant, easy ease. And that just, I don't know, makes it look a little bit nicer. So now we are going to do a RAM preview because we are boss editors and we do RAM previews. For those of you who don't ever get audio when you're playing your clip, just do a RAM preview. Just do what I did. Click on these three little arrows in the play button here. You're going to get it. I'm, if This is probably too complicated if you still don't know how to do that. So you can click on the annotation right where my mouse is. And now it's over here. And now it's up here. And now it's a whole screen. And you can go see episode one. So we're going to hit play and see what we got now. This we're going to cut off before it gets all weird like that. So let's watch this. It goes in your own slow motion. So that's what we want. And now we're going to go to our marker frame, because this is what we're going to work off of. So, we are at the frame where we made our little marker. And now we're going to go to our effects and presets tab and search up C, C, space, L, I, G, H, T, space, B, U, R, S, T, space, 2.5, or light burst, 2.5, C, C, light burst. Drag that on your clip, and uh-oh, spaghetti -o, we've already got it all shiny and stuff. We don't want that. So, for intensity here, you can see right here it says intensity, here it says ray length, zero zero and keyframe them both and right now we are still on our marker frame then go over one frame to the muzzle flash and this is the second frame that we made where our twixter starts the fast twixter and for intensity i like about 100 and for ray length i like about 50 just like that it's a good number and now we are going to leave it, and we're going to go over about two and a half seconds. So right around here. So you can see right there, I was at two minutes and 30 seconds. Now I'm at about 
five minutes and no, sorry, I was at three point five seconds. Now I'm at five point five seconds. So that's that's just a good number. Two seconds is works. And I'm gonna keyframe the intensity back down to zero and the ray length back down to zero. And if you did that correctly, if not, watch that again. You should see it kind of go shiny and then it goes down to nothing. So back to the marker. It's a good thing we made that marker, isn't it? So now we're gonna look up in our effects and presets tab and look up bright brightness and contrast put that on your clip and uh keyframe them both immediately at zero because they should be at zero then go over one frame bam and change brightness to 33 and contrast to 33 and it just adds a nice little uh almost like a bluish glow with the uh, cc light burst and now we're going to go over to just kind of guesstimate where the uh cc light burst end it doesn't have to be perfect right around there looks good and i'm going to keyframe both back down to zero so if you did that correctly, you should see it get really bright and then dull down back to normal like that. So that was all pixelated, but you get the idea. Back to the marker, and this is where it gets a little bit complicated for all your eager young learning minds. So we're going to go look up Twitch and put it here. And if you don't have Twitch, and I'm saying this right now, if you don't have it, it's not, doesn't come with After Effects. You have to get it some other methods, which I'm not going to say. I don't want to get in trouble. And yeah, so we got Twitch on. We're going to make our speed 33. Because that's an easy number to type. And it's a good speed. And we're going to keyframe the amount. Or not going to keyframe. We're just going to change it to 66 for now. And we're going to zoom in. And we're going to go over to our beginning frame. Uh, where the Twixer starts and everything starts. So there's marker. Not the end. That's the wrong button. I apologize most ever sincerely. I hope you guys forgive me for that. I swear to God, I'm never going to do that again. We're going to go back to our marker. And right there. That's what I mean. So right there. There's nothing, and there's shenanigans. Go to the shenanigans, and you're going to keyframe just the amount. Then you're going to go back one frame to the marker button, and you're going to make the amount zero. So it should go zero, 60. But nothing is going to happen yet, because you have to go to this enable button. Click on that arrow, and check blur, scale, and time slide so one two three you can do the other ones but i don't know eh, i don't know i don't like them so blur scale and time that's basically it and now we are going to go guesstimate where everything ended again right here and we're going to just change the amount down to zero so if that wasn't clear the keyframes go um here it goes nothing nothing everything's at zero at our marker and then everything goes up to the initial values and you can see here for twixter it's 150 speed there's the numbers for there there's numbers for there and then everything's going to gradually drop except for the twixter which is actually going to stay the same speed and everything's dropping slightly until here where the 500 comes up and then it's going to keep going and it's going to be slow motion now until it stops eventually twitching and you'll notice that we have a very cool looking effect. So if we do a RAM preview, I'll show you how to adjust this in case it's not quite to your standards. So there's the shenanigans. And on RAM preview, guys, I know what you're saying. Fritz, that looks uglier than a, a ugly tranny. Well, you got to remember, this is only two seconds long. And it's a decent number. If it's a little bit slow, depending on your song, you might want to go to one second. I'll show you how to change all of those values with one easy tap of the button. So, let's do a ring preview. And so he's spinning and then... So how to adjust them? That's a good question. Gonna hit E, make sure your layer is selected, hit E. And then check uh, the arrow beside CC brightness and light burst and brightness and twitch. And you're gonna wanna click on this like just anywhere, you'll make a little rectangle and select all of the keyframes at the end. So just like that, and you can move them out to make the effect last longer. So now the effect's going to last forever. Or you can bring them nice and close. And the effect's going to be really fast. So it's easy as that. Um, it's pretty cool. I think it's a really nice effect. Um, it works well. If you do not feel comfortable working with Twixter and the effects, you can make an adjustment layer. But it does work. Um, also, if you click right here, this button here, it just makes your Twitch look a little bit nicer, so click on that too. 
and that's basically it you can make your color correction and put on real smart motion blur for added beautiness and yeah my name is fritz i hope you enjoyed um i got requested to show you what we just made uh before and after so um instead of just showing you this with no sound i will actually show you a nice edited version that i showed at the beginning of the video so my name is fritz the only fritz on youtube and I'm gone. If you guys have any requests, leave them in the comments down below. If you have any questions, add me on Skype, editing.force, because people have questions. And rather than making me try to explain myself in a private message, it's easier for me just to show you on Skype. My name is Fritz, and I'm out. I promised. I swear to God. Bye. <laughs> My daddy tell me hold it down while I'm gone, son. But what he gone done? So many choices, it's not.